Welcome to episode 1191, Ramon Eng, Infrastructure Billionaire of the Philippines. This is picture of Ramon Eng and family. He has eight children, not all shown here. This is an outline of episode 1191. The business of San Miguel, are you very optimistic about and will recover quickly than the others? Actually, Rico, only business that affected us really is the oil refinery business. Our power business is good. Our infrastructure business, tollway, port, they're okay. Our food and beverage business is very, very good. Other manufacturing business that like our cement business are very, very good. So in short, we are not affected at all. Businesses that are mostly affected are hotels, cruise liner, airline, casino, real estate, so we are not in those kind of business. So the business we are into are not really that much affected. He was born in Manila in 1954, son of ethnic Chinese couple of modest means. In 1978, he earned a degree in mechanical engineering from Far Eastern University in Manila. He was 24. First business was fixing and selling used Japanese cars and truck engines. Later, he became a leading force in the local automotive industry. He became chairman of San Miguel Corporation. Late billionaire Eduardo Guanco and Ramon Eng were good friends. They bonded together through a common passion for collecting and restoring vintage cars such as this one. Michael hired him and in March 2002 voted Ramon Eng as president and chief operating officer. And Ramon Eng let San Miguel diversify into unrelated industries such as petroleum, infrastructure and power generation. Much of the success we enjoy and what we are today as a company is a result of Ramon's foresight and his determination that we make the most of the opportunities in front of us. 2017, he proposed $14 billion investment in a new airport. can handle practically everything, including an Airbus 380. That's an interim solution, which I think can handle the capacity for the next five to seven years. And this is a good opportunity at no cost to Philippine government. If implemented, can immediately address the congestion problem of our country in the next three years. Traffic jam in Manila has become one of the worst in the world. In September 2021, Ramon Eng has a net worth of $2.3 billion. Now, the secret of his success. You call it, you separate the men and the boys. In a crisis, there's always an opportunity like this. Oh, when everybody is staying home, we are out working, we make sure all our projects are in full speed. When they wake up and finally report to work, we are already done. So all the opportunity we have practically harvest. And also, the most important of these things is we want to keep the jobs, okay? And we want to create more jobs opportunity for our country and our people. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Ramon and Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.